Hey there, Facebook and YouTube world and our website. It's Bill Harder with Cameras Hospice and another episode of 300 Hospice Seconds. And today's theme, as you see up here, is uh, ambiguous grief. And that means grieving when we don't really know what it is we're grieving about or grieving something that's just kind of hard to put our, our um, thoughts to or our finger on. And of course, we've got this beautiful little uh, social distancing uh, icon. There it is right there. And so our, our theme today really is ambiguous grief in a time of COVID. I want to touch on a couple of things about loss during COVID. And there's lots of people talking on this. And I really appreciate the, the presenters I've heard highlighting, you know, the loss of social contact, the loss of physical contact, just the strangeness of the times we're living in, the heightened anxiety that seems to just be floating around culturally. Now, if we just think about loss for a moment, a loss simply is that we don't have something we used to have. Sometimes uh, our losses are not terribly unpleasant. We might sell a vehicle because we don't want it anymore. Now that's a loss that we may not even grieve in any form. Nonetheless, something's gone that we used to have. And this is applicable as we look at COVID. There's all sorts of things that, at least temporarily, and we're not sure how long that will last, all sorts of things that we don't have that we used to have. Some of them we really miss, and we're grieving that. Some things maybe not so much. So as an example, it, it's, it's hard to get together with people. We've got all sorts of protocols that we are being asked to follow. And some of them are legal protocols, some are just suggested. And yet it, it, it makes us uncertain. Am I really okay being in this group of people? Do I need to wear my mask? Do I need to be unmasked? Um, Am I at risk to myself? Am I at a risk to other people around me? And while we might not frame it as such, all of this represents a loss in terms of how we spent the bulk of our lives relating. And so if we're 50 years old, we maybe spent 50 years shaking hands with people when we met them, hugging friends and family, um, sitting shoulder to shoulder. And suddenly, we have to think twice about all of that. This can induce a very genuine and deep sense of grief in us. And sometimes when it's so much that's being lost right now, we're not even sure where to point that grief. We just, we just feel an emptiness in us, a sadness. So I have a quick ritual that you could exercise. Get a little... A uh, jar of wooden beads or plastic beads or stones. And then put another receptacle, a basket or a bowl somewhere in your house. And when you are periodically going through your house and you, you have this overwhelming sense of, oh, I just, I miss being able to shake hands. Go pick up one of those beads from that jar. Go over to the basket. And when you put it in the basket, just name what it is. This bead represents the loss of being able to touch another person. And I feel sad. And in so doing, that, that naming, feeling, and interpreting of loss is our healing path. And it might be many times in a day that we pick up a bead and we, we, we give it a name. You know what? I name this the loss over being able to walk through a store with my face wide open and being seen because we were tired of masks and it's not the worst thing in the world, but it does represent a loss. So we might pick up a bead that morning or after we get home from the grocery store and we name that loss and we name the frustration or the sadness it induces and what it means for us and we pop it in that basket. Ambiguous loss is really challenging. There's no burial, there's no headstone. There's just the feeling of grief and the waves of emotion that can come with it. Well, if you're feeling grief today and you're not sure where to point that grief at, you have my compassion. I'm Bill Harder. This is 300 Hospice Seconds. Thanks for stopping in.